founder of the National Freedom Party, Zanele Ramagwazam Sibi, is expected to be laid to rest in her hometown of Ulundi in KwaZulu Natal this morning. The former Deputy Minister for Science and Technology passed away on Monday after a long illness. President Cyril Ramaphosa has granted the 59 year old an official Category 2 funeral. Our reporter, Ngoskona Duma, is outside uh, Magwazam CB's home in Ulundi. Ngosikona, very good morning to you and uh, thank you for joining us. A, of course, uh, um, you know, a final farewell to a woman who's been described as one who ha was an exemplary leader who really paved the pathway. Talk us through what's expected to happen today. Good morning, Paul. Indeed, you are correct. Uh, Zanele Kamakwazam CB has been described as a trailblazer, as an inspirational woman who came from, uh, you know, a, a relatively small and a relatively underdeveloped town of Olundi, uh, and she made it all the way to the National Assembly. But before that, she has served as a councillor in these parts for 19 years. Uh, she was also elected mayor of the Zululand District Municipality uh, for uh, for three terms. So she commanded a lot of respect. She was very popular around here. Newsroom Africa has set up camp uh, in Olundi since Wednesday and since then we have had, we have interacted with uh, various people who have simply paid glowing tribute to her uh, saying that um, her loss is really great in this community, really making sure that they mention some of her contribution to service delivery. Um, but on that earlier question about today's proceedings, I am now joined by the spokesperson of the family Mr. Kenan Mzeje, who will take us through what is happening. Mr. Mzeje, first and foremost, our sincerest condolences. We understand that it is a difficult moment for you as a family, but please take us through, if you can, about what we can expect today. No, good morning and thank you for having me. Indeed, it is a very difficult uh, time for us because finally it is sinking in that uh, Kamakwaza Mzeje is normal. It is now a, a reality, a hard reality for that matter that she's gone and we are laying her to rest today and it, it's a very sad moment. Um, the proceedings are going to start, uh, we're hoping to start at 10, uh, depending on how time does her body arrives as she's in Deb and she'll be um, taken out of the mortuary at 7 o'clock this morning and she'll be driven through all the way from Deb and to Ulundi and um, along the way we've prepared uh, a number of uh, of our members as the National Freedom Party to stand on the side of the road, just paying their last respect to her. And when she arrives here in Ulundi, she will be accorded a, a very special uh, uh, arrangement by the, uh, the organization because we want her to get a, a decent send-off and we are expecting our members to give her a card of honor. She arrives here in Ulundi at about 10 latest and from then the official uh, proceedings or program will, will resume and we are expecting the premier of the province to give a eulogy as uh, this is now a government uh, funeral, but it is a sad day. And uh, we are hoping uh, that um, people remember Kamo Kazam Sibi for who she was more than anything else as a, a legend in her own right, a politician, a mother, a, a loving person. And Kamo Kazam Sibi, as you have been hearing from the residents here of Ulundi, they were all saying in one way that Kamo Kazam Sibi was a beautiful soul. Mm. Um, we, as I, as I said, we have been talking to people here in Ulundi, and um, for a long time, many people knew Zanele Gamakwazam Sibi as a as a politician who had been part of the IFP for a very long time. But also, what you've observed is the human nature of her, and that is, of course, the part of the glowing tribute that had been given to her. People saying that she would be seen at funerals, she would assist her families. Take us through the kind of loss that uh, you know this community is suffering as a result of her passing. Indeed, it's a huge loss to all the people who came to know Gamakwazam CB one way or the other. Uh, as you have mentioned, she would, whenever there was uh, someone who has died or passed on, she would be the first to arrive, irrespective of uh, position the person uh, held, held in the society. If, if, even if it was the poorest person in the community, she would be the first to arrive and assist. She has built many schools here. She, she has built clinics. And at some stage, she clashed with the former MEC of Education in the province, uh, Mr. Senzo Mkun. Because Senzo was questioning why you are building schools because it's my responsibility. And Wamo Kwasam Sibi will tell him that, you know, even if it's your responsibility, but you have, if you are not doing it, I'm going to do it. And uh, she, she, she has done a lot for the community of Zululand. That's why every person 
uh, each and every individual who can come across will tell a story or two about how Gamba Kwasa Msibi assisted uh, or him. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kenan Mgletcher. Again, our sincerest condolences. Well, Mpo um, and Butle, that was uh, Mr. Kenan Mgletcher, the spokesperson for the uh, family of the late Zanele Kamakwaza Msibi. As he said, um, uh, the funeral proceedings are expected to start at 10. Uh, the body is going to be, uh, you know, the body we understand right now is being fetched from Durban. So um, that is uh, about three hours of driving uh, from now. Uh, the Premier of KwaZulu Natal, of course, is going to be delivering the eulogy. And we know that President Cyril Ramaphosa has granted the Les Kamakwaza Msibi an official Category 2 funeral. Uh, the NFP, off the record, we were chatting to them. Of course, uh, you know, there were concerns about, you know, the adherence to COVID-19 restrictions. But they have said that in partnership with the KwaZulu Natal government, which have taken over, um, you know, the planning of this funeral, that they will try and ensure that um, COVID-19 restrictions are adhered to. And uh, that is a very important aspect as uh, they, you know, lay farewell to, uh, bid farewell to a woman who was very influential and loved by many, especially within her community and the work that she, she did. How then are they going to manage those numbers in terms of restricting people from coming to, to also uh, bid farewell to her? Indeed. So, uh, Paul, first and foremost, the venue that has been selected for her passing is the old legislature building of um, KwaZulu Natal. So that building has a, a bigger size venue, which will be able, according to you know the organisers of, of this funeral, will be able to accommodate the currently legislated number of just about a hundred people. But um, you know, just as we saw at her uh, memorial service um, on Thursday, we expect that there will be arrangements such as. Uh, uh, screens and overflowing venues where those who cannot attend the funeral from the actual venue that it is taking place are actually accommodated and participate in the proceedings as they take place. Very well. Let's uh, leave it there for now. Uh, Duma giving us an update there on the farewell of uh, the late uh, Zanelagama Gwazam CB.